In this video, we are going to get with the program by diving in with computer programming. Let's check it out. Let's begin by seeing how we will break things down. I've picked out three things that will guide us to an understanding of computer programming. The first thing we'll take on is the question, what is computer programming? The second is a related question, what is a computer program? And the third is extremely important as we'll look at the two components that exist inside every computer program. After we finish this talk, you'll know what's up with computer programming and you'll be able to see a path you can take to learn computer programming yourself. Let's put things in motion by giving a definition for computer programming. I want to be careful. One primary reason computer science can be super intimidating is because of how specific certain concepts can get. So we won't get too specific with our definition here, but we will capture the essentials. Computer programming is the act of telling a computer what to do. Now this is something we can work with. If you agree with me, this definition is approachable. And if you think about it, telling a computer what to do sounds pretty intriguing. It's actually a very powerful capability. I want you to think of telling other machines what to do. For example, I can think of getting behind the wheel of a car. We tell cars what to do with steering wheels and gas pedals, right? Like this is the mindset we need to be in to approach this topic. Even though there are many rules and considerations while on the road, the steering wheel and the gas pedal are the two things that get us going behind the wheel. With computer programming, there are also two important things that will get us going. We will cover both of these, but before we do, I want to tell you about computer programs. Not programming, but computer programs. We will keep things mellow to start with by just defining what the word program actually means. Nothing to do with computers here, just the actual word program. A program is a list of structured activities. So a program is a list of activities that have structure. The word structure just means that the activities are organized in some way. As humans, we already know pretty much about dealing with programs. A couple examples are like this. We might enroll into an undergraduate degree program at a college and complete the organized list of activities required to get a degree. We might check out a concert program to know what songs will be played, or we might start some fitness program to improve our health. All of these programs give us activities that as humans we can do, and these activities are definitely structured. The structure gives us an organized way to achieve an outcome we are seeking. Keep this in mind and let's pivot to the more narrow category of computer programs. A computer program is a structured list of activities a computer can do. The word program by itself is just a list of structured activities. When we add the word computer, this just narrows the list to activities that a computer can do. The structured list of activities in a computer program are commonly called instructions. And this is because we use computer programs to instruct or tell computers what to do. The what to do part depends on the outcome we are seeking. For example, in the intro to data science video, we were seeking to generate buy and sell decisions for stocks. Let's look now at the two things that are inside every computer program. Like I said before, these two things are super important. These two things are like the steering wheel and the gas pedal in the car example. They represent the two ways we can tell computers what to do. The two things inside every computer program are code and data. Let's think about this in terms of the definition we gave for a computer program. We said that a computer program is a list of structured activities or instructions a computer can do. The structured activities or instructions part is where code comes in. The activities or instructions are defined using code. The a computer can do part is where data comes in. The activities computers can do all involve data. We can even say that computers do data. Anything that involves data is eligible to be done by a computer. I want you to remember the data life cycle we introduced in the intro to data science video. When a computer is doing something, this something always involves data. Programs create, update, and delete data. These data operations are at the core of what computers do. 
if we look at the data science framework, the whole framework is actually a program itself. But when we are working on specific projects, we don't create one large behemoth program. Rather, we create very small programs that do specific tasks and we combine them to achieve our overall goal. When it comes to programming, code is often front and center. But in this series, we will learn computer programming by putting data in the spotlight. Having a solid understanding of data is often more natural and can make the coding side of things much easier. The main takeaway here is that computer programming is the act of telling a computer what to do. We tell computers what to do using instructions that are defined in computer programs. And computer programs are made of two crucial components, code and data. This means that we have two options when telling a computer what to do. We can either do it with code or we can do it with data. Just like with automobiles, computers give us humans extraordinary power. If you want to power up yourself, stick with this series and let's learn to program.